There's so much trash in the world, so much discarded material that it was very easy for me to just start gathering. And at that point, I had been working on a series that were inspired by how we consume in this country at such an amazing rate that really was disturbing me and how I had been along for the ride in that idea of consuming and then discarding. And <laughs> I think everyone thinks that if you're a Pueblo woman and you're not making pottery, then what are you doing in your studio? <laughs> I was creating a new voice in actuality. And in fact, I was dispelling these old paradigms and recreating. And around that time is when I met Amy, and Amy sent home these bags. There were many bags of these very beautifully colored plastic prayer flags from the folk art market. And at that point, Imar was using them as well. And so I sat down and I just started braiding them. And in a sense, it was very meditative braiding and weaving with my fingers and having that tactile experience was really important for me. I made several hundred yards of just this string of very colorful plastic. I was more involved in trying to figure out the material because when you have discarded material and you're trying to think of a way to reuse it, I think there needs to be a real concerted effort to think about it and spend time with it. And in fact, you know, learn what it is. And really in that process, spending so much time with it, I could feel after a whole day it coming off of onto my hands and feeling like this is toxic. This material is toxic. So I would go into the house and I would spend time, a lot of time, just washing my hands. And then it dawned on me, oh, it looks so beautiful when it's hung. But when you start really understanding it and feeling it, it's very toxic material. And that was really sort of a stunning takeaway from that. I don't know what will happen after the exhibit is ended and the bags, the quote unquote art piece comes back to me, how do I reuse it? And I think when the bags came to this art room and the kids started working with it, they really took it in a completely different direction, which is really exciting. And that is really kind of wonderful because it'll encourage a lot of people to start thinking in terms of what do we do with this truly excess amount of, I'm going to call it a resource, a resource um, that has been generally considered trash. And how do we re rethink it and how does it take on a new life?